Hey guys, welcome to Better English Listening. Now, you will hear everyday conversations happening in various situations and settings. This will help you expand your vocabulary and become better at understanding and speaking English. So, let's begin. Specialty. Have you heard about this restaurant's specialty? Apparently, it's something unique and delicious. Oh, really? I'm intrigued. What's their specialty? They're known for their gourmet pizzas with unconventional toppings. I've heard they even have a dessert pizza that's out of this world. Dessert pizza? That sounds both intriguing and slightly strange. What's on it? It's a sweet pizza crust topped with Nutella sliced strawberries, a drizzle of honey, and a sprinkle of powdered sugar. It's like a delicious twist on a classic dessert. That's definitely different. I'm more used to savory pizzas, but I'm curious to try this dessert creation. Same here. I love how they're pushing the boundaries and creating new culinary experiences. Absolutely. It's nice to see places that dare to be different and experiment with flavors. Definitely. But if you're more into savory, they also have some unusual savory options like a mac and cheese pizza or a fig and prosciutto pizza. Now those sound intriguing too. I guess I'm up for trying something new today. That's the spirit. Let's embrace the culinary adventure and dive into these unique flavors. I'm excited. Thanks for introducing me to this place. I would have never thought of dessert pizza otherwise. You're welcome. Sometimes the most unexpected things turn out to be the most delightful surprises. Waiting for a table. This place looks amazing, but it seems pretty busy. Hope we don't have to wait too long for a table. Yeah, I heard their food is worth the wait though. Let's hope it's not too bad. Do they take reservations? Maybe we should have called ahead? I checked online, but they don't take reservations for parties or size. It's first come, first served. Well, fingers crossed then. At least the weather's nice. So waiting outside won't be too bad. True, and it's a good opportunity to chat and catch up while we wait. Hi there, sorry for the wait. We have a table available for two now. Great, thank you. Perfect timing, thank you so much. The atmosphere here is really cozy. I can see why it's popular. Totally, and the aroma coming from the kitchen is making me even more excited to eat. I'm already eyeing a couple of dishes on the menu. Any recommendations? Their pasta dishes are usually fantastic, and I've heard their seafood is really fresh. Sounds good. Let's order both and share so we can try a bit of everything. Agreed. This wait will definitely be worth it once we dig in. Taking a break. Never stop, I'll get it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. Phew, I really needed this break. My eyes were starting to blur from staring at the screen. Tell me about it. It's been non-stop this morning. A breather is much needed. How do you usually unwind during breaks? I usually just scroll through social media to disconnect. I used to do that too, but lately, I've been trying to step away from screens. I take a short walk or just sit by the window to watch the world outside. That's a good idea. Fresh air does wonders. Maybe I should give that a shot. 
Trust me, it helps clear your mind. Do you want to join me for a quick stroll around the block? Sure, why not? A little movement would be great. Famous for the way you play the game, bro. Never stop. Ordering. Hi there, are you ready to order? Yes, I think so. I'll have the classic cheeseburger with fries, please. Great choice. How would you like your burger cooked? Medium, please. And can I get lettuce, tomato, and onions on it? Of course. And would you like any sauces or toppings? We have ketchup, mustard, mayo, and barbecue sauce available. I'll go with ketchup and mayo, please. And could I also get a side of onion rings instead of fries? Noted. Now, for your drink. I'll have a cola, please. Got it. One classic cheeseburger cooked medium with lettuce, tomato. And onions served with onion rings and a cola. Is there anything else for you? That's all, thanks. Thank you. And for you, sir. I'll go with the grilled chicken salad, please. Can you make sure the dressing is on the side? Absolutely. Any specific dressing you'd like? Ranch dressing, please. And could I also add avocado to the salad? Certainly. Would you like any bread or rolls with the salad? Yes. A garlic roll on the side, please. Noted. One grilled chicken salad with ranch dressing on the side topped with avocado and a garlic roll. Anything else for you? That's it. Thank you. Thank you both. Your orders will be out shortly. Blaming and accusing. I can't believe you messed up the presentation. What were you thinking? I'm sorry. I know there were some errors. But I had a lot on my plate and couldn't review it thoroughly. That's not an excuse. This was an important client meeting, and you dropped the ball. I understand the significance, and I take responsibility for my oversight. This reflects poorly on the entire team. We needed this to go smoothly, and you let us down. I'm aware of the impact and I deeply regret any negative impression it may have made. We've been working on this project for weeks, and you've jeopardized our hard work. I truly apologize for that. I wish I could turn back time and fix it. It's not just about apologies now. We need to find a way to salvage the situation. I'm committed to rectifying my mistake. I'll work on correcting the errors and making things right with the client. You better make sure this gets sorted out. We can't afford any more slip UPS. I completely understand the urgency. I'll do everything in my power to regain the client's trust. You better. We're all depending on you to fix this mess. I won't let you down again. I'll put in the extra effort to ensure this gets resolved. Well, you've got a lot of work ahead of you. Make sure it's done properly this time. I will. I appreciate your honesty, even though it's hard to hear. I'm determined to learn from this and improve. You better, for everyone's sake. Let's hope we can salvage this situation somehow. I'm giving it my all. I won't rest until it's sorted out. Thanks for holding me accountable. Just make sure it doesn't happen again. We're counting on you. I won't forget the lesson. I'll work hard to regain trust and ensure a better outcome next time. That's what I want to hear. Let's get things back on track. Good luck. Thanks. I'll need it. Take care and talk to you later. Opening an account.
Good afternoon. How can I assist you today? Hi, I'm interested in opening a new savings account. Absolutely, we can help you with that. Do you have any specific type of savings account in mind? I'm looking for an account with a decent interest rate and easy access to my funds. What options do you have? We have a few options that might suit your needs. Let me explain the features of our regular savings account and our high yield savings account. Please do. I'd like to hear about both before I decide. Sure thing. Our regular savings account offers competitive interest rates and comes with a debit card for easy access. Our high yield savings account offers even higher interest rates, but it might have some minimum balance requirements. Interesting. Could you also explain the fees associated with each account? Of course. The regular savings account has no monthly fees if you maintain a minimum balance of $500. The high yield savings account might have a monthly fee if your balance falls below $1,000. Got it. I think I'm leaning towards the regular savings account for now. What documents do I need to open an account? You'll need a government issued ID proof of address and your social security number. Do you have those with you? Yes, I have my driver's license a recent utility bill, and my social security card? Perfect. I'll get the necessary forms for you to fill out. Once that's done, we'll go over the account details and get everything set up for you. Sounds good. Thanks for your help. Not a problem at all. We're here to make the process smooth for you. Just give me a moment and I'll be right back with the forms. Take your time. I'm looking forward to opening my new savings account. On my way. On my way. I'll be at the coffee shop in about 10 minutes. Awesome. Thanks for the heads up. I'll grab a table by the window. Sounds good. I can't wait for a cup of their amazing cappuccino. Me too. It's been a long day already. A good coffee break is much needed. Definitely. By the way, did you hear about the new art exhibit downtown? Oh, yeah. I've been wanting to check it out. Are you planning to go? I was thinking of going this weekend. Would you be interested? That sounds like a great idea. I'm in. Let's make a day of it. Perfect. We can hit the exhibit, have lunch at that new place everyone's been talking about, and maybe stroll through the park afterward. Count me in for all of it. It's been a while since I've had a relaxing day like that. It's a plan then. I'll text you the details later. But for now, coffee is calling our names. Can't wait. See you in a bit. On my way. I'll check if I'm free. Hey, there's a concert downtown next Friday. Would you like to go? Sounds like fun. I'll check if I'm free and let you know as soon as I can. Awesome. Let me know by tomorrow if possible. It's going to be a great show. Definitely. I'll make sure to find out and get back to you. By the way, there's a food festival happening on the same day. Interested? Oh, that sounds tempting too. I'll check if I'm free and see if we can squeeze it in before the concert. Sounds like a plan. If the timing works out, we could have a whole day of fun. Absolutely. That would be fantastic. I'll coordinate with my schedule and get back to you. Take your time, no rush. I appreciate you checking your availability. Thanks for understanding. I really want to make both of these events work if possible. I totally get it. Let's hope everything aligns. Just let me know about your availability soon. Will do. Thanks for inviting me to these cool events.
I'll check if I'm free and give you a definite answer soon. Damn, what a hell of a view. I feel good, you look great. I like you, I can't wait. A first time, a first day. You're so fine, I'm so late. You sip wine, I drink straight. Don't waste time to my place. I feel my heart erased. Catch me if I fall Long time no see. Long time no see. How have you been? I know, right? It's been ages. I've been pretty good, just busy with work and life in general. Same here. It's great to finally catch up. Have you taken any trips or done anything exciting lately? Actually, I went on a hiking trip to the mountains last month. The views were incredible. That sounds amazing. I love hiking too. We should plan a hike together sometime. Absolutely. That would be a lot of fun. What about you? Any new developments in your life? Well, I started a new job a few months ago. It's been a big change, but I'm enjoying it. Congrats on the new job. I'm glad to hear that you're enjoying it. What's the work like? I'm in a project management role, so it's quite challenging but also rewarding when things come together. That's great. It sounds like you're thriving. By the way, do you remember our old friend Mark? Of course, how could I forget? What's he up to these days? He's actually in town for a few days. We should all catch up sometime this week. That's a fantastic idea. It's been ages since the three of us hung out together. Agreed. Let's plan a dinner or something. I'll reach out to Mark and see when he's available. Sounds like a plan. It'll be great to reconnect and reminisce about old times. Cleaning. Hey, do you want to help me clean the house today? Yeah, sure. What do you want me to do? Can you vacuum the living room while I clean the bathroom? No problem. Should I move the furniture out of the way? Yeah, that would be great. Thanks. They start cleaning. This bathroom is a mess. I really need to stay on top of it more. It's not that bad. Just a little bit of scrubbing and it'll be good as new. You're right. Thanks for the encouragement. No problem. How's the living room looking? It's looking much better. I just need to dust the furniture and then we're done. Awesome. I'll finish up here and then help you with the dusting. They finished cleaning. Wow, the house looks so much better now. Thanks for your help. No problem. It's always nice to have a clean house. Agreed. Maybe we can make a cleaning schedule so we can stay on top of it more. That's a great idea. We can divide up the tasks and make sure everything gets done on a regular basis. Perfect. Let's get started on that tomorrow. Room cleaning service.
I feel overwhelmed with all the clutter in my room. It desperately needs cleaning, but I just don't have the time or energy. Why don't you consider hiring a room cleaning service? They can take care of all the tidying up for you. I've thought about it, but I'm not sure if I can trust someone else to clean my personal space. I understand your concern, but these services often have trained professionals who respect your privacy and handle everything with care. That's reassuring, but what about the cost? I'm worried it might be too expensive. It's worth looking into. Some services offer flexible options, like one-time cleanings or regular visits at affordable rates. Hmm, that sounds reasonable. I guess I should give it a try. Do you know any reliable room cleaning services? Yes, I've used one before and had a great experience. Let me share their information with you. Thank you. I really need to declutter and organize my room. Having a room cleaning service could be a game changer for me. You're welcome. Trust me, it'll make a huge difference in how you feel about your space. Enjoy the clean and tidy room. Borrowing electric equipment. Hey, I wanted to ask if I could borrow your electric drill for a quick home project. Sure, no problem. I'm happy to lend it to you. Just be careful while using it and make sure to return it in good condition. Thank you so much. I promise I'll take good care of it and return it as soon as I'm done. You're welcome. By the way, do you need any drill bits or additional accessories? That would be really helpful, actually. If you have some spare drill bits, it would save me a trip to the store. Not a problem. I'll gather a few different sizes for you. Anything else you need? No, that should be all. I really appreciate your help. It's no problem at all. Just let me know if you need anything else. Happy to assist. Delivering to the wrong room. Room 302, right? We've got a delivery. Yes, that's correct. Great. Here's your package. Thank you, but I think there's been a mistake. I didn't order anything. This address and room number match. The delivery slip. Are you sure it's not for you? Positive. My name is John, but the package is addressed to someone named Sarah. Oh no, it seems like we've delivered it to the wrong room. My apologies for the mix-up. No problem. These things happen. I hope you can find the right room and get it to Sarah. Absolutely. We'll sort it out right away. Sorry again for any inconvenience caused. No worries. Good luck with the correct delivery. Drugs. Have you been following the news about the rising drug addiction rates in our city? Yeah, it's really concerning. Substance abuse seems to be affecting more and more people, especially the youth. It's heartbreaking to see lives being ruined by drugs. I wonder what's driving this increase. Well, there could be various factors, from stress and mental health issues to social and economic pressures. And it's not just illegal drugs. Prescription drug misuse is also a big problem. Some people get hooked on painkillers and other medications. Right, and that's a tricky one because those drugs are often prescribed by doctors. I think education and awareness play a crucial role. Collecting things.
I noticed you have quite the collection of vintage records. When did you start collecting those? Oh, I've been into collecting records for years. It started as a hobby, but now it's become a passion. That's cool. There's something special about owning physical copies of music in this digital age. Absolutely. Each record has its own unique character and history. It's like holding a piece of music history in your hands. Do you collect anything else apart from records? Yeah, I also collect old coins and stamps. It's fascinating to think about where they've been and the stories they carry. Collecting things really gives you a glimpse into the past, doesn't it? Definitely. It's a way to connect with history and preserve it in a tangible form. Do you think collecting has taught you anything? Patience, for one. Sometimes it takes a while to find the perfect addition to my collection. It's also taught me about research and valuing authenticity. It's interesting how a hobby can be so educational. I've always wanted to start a collection of something, but I'm not sure where to begin. Well, it really depends on your interests. Whether it's books, toys, art, or even something niche like bottle caps, there's no right or wrong. Just start with something that resonates with you. Thanks for the advice. Maybe I'll start exploring and see what speaks to me. Absolutely. Collecting is all about the journey and the stories behind each piece. Enjoy the process. Environmental Protection Have you been keeping up with the discussions on environmental protection? It's becoming a pressing issue. Absolutely, the state of our environment is something we can't ignore anymore. The signs of climate change all around us. It's alarming how quickly things are deteriorating. We need to take action before it's too late. I agree. We have a responsibility to future generations to leave them a planet that's livable and healthy. What steps do you think we should take? Individual actions or larger policy changes? Both. Individuals making sustainable choices can collectively make a difference. But we also need governments and industries to adopt more eco-friendly practices. It's good to see some companies shifting towards renewable energy and reducing their carbon footprint. Definitely, the business sector plays a huge role in driving change. Also, supporting and investing in clean technologies is crucial. Education is key too. People need to understand the impact of their actions and how small changes can add up. Agreed. Promoting environmental awareness and responsibility from a young age can create a lasting impact. Let's hope that global leaders take this seriously and work together to implement effective environmental protection policies. Yes, and let's also keep spreading the message and doing our part. Every little action counts toward a more sustainable future. Traffic jams. Ugh, I was stuck in the worst traffic jam this morning. It's so frustrating. Tell me about it. Traffic seems to be getting worse every day. I had a similar experience yesterday. I just don't understand how it gets so congested. It's like there are more cars on the road than the roads were designed for. I think it's a combination of increasing population, urbanization, and inadequate infrastructure planning. The roadways just can't keep up. And it's not just the time wasted, but also the stress and pollution that come with sitting in traffic for so long. True, it's bad for our mental well-being and the environment. Plus, the economy takes a hit due to lost productivity. I've been thinking about using public transportation more often to reduce my contribution to the traffic problem. That's a good idea. Carpooling and using public transport can definitely help ease congestion. 
I've also heard that some companies are implementing flexible work hours or remote work options to reduce the rush hour traffic. That's a step in the right direction. Anything that can spread out the traffic load is beneficial. I hope city planners and governments focus more on improving transportation infrastructure and encouraging sustainable modes of travel. Agreed. It's a complex issue, but with the right strategies, we can make a dent in the traffic woes and make commuting less of a nightmare. Flight check-in. Hey, I can't believe it's finally time for our trip. Did you do the online check-in for our flight? Yes, I took care of it yesterday. I have our boarding passes ready on my phone. Awesome, thanks for doing that. What's the process like at the airport then? We just need to head to the check-in counter to drop off any checked baggage and show our it's along with the boarding passes. They'll give us any necessary info about the gate and departure time. Sounds straightforward. Speaking of baggage, did you weigh our suitcases? I hope we're not over the limit. I did. Both suitcases are within the weight limit. No extra charges there. Great job. And did you print out our travel itinerary and hotel bookings? Yep, they're in a folder in my bag along with all the necessary document. You're on top of things. Just a heads up, I heard some airports can be pretty busy, so we should get there with some extra time. Agreed. I was thinking we should aim to arrive around two hours before our flight. Better safe than stressed. Absolutely. I'm getting a bit nervous, but also excited. It's been a while since we traveled. I feel the same way. It's going to be a great adventure. Let's make sure everything goes smoothly from check-in to takeoff. Sounds like a plan. Thanks for handling the check-in and all the details. No problem. We're in this together. Ready to make some amazing memories. Definitely. Let's do this. Leaving and returning. Hey, I'm going to run to the store really quick. Do you need anything? No, I'm good. Thanks for asking though. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. 20 minutes later. Hey. I'm back. Did you need me to pick up anything while I was out? No, I'm still good. Thanks for asking though. Did you find everything you needed at the store? Yeah, I was able to get everything on my list pretty quickly. It wasn't too busy, which was nice. That's good. Did you have any trouble finding what you needed? Not really. Everything was pretty easy to find. Although, I did see some things that weren't on my list and ended up buying a few extra items. Ha <laughs> ha, I know how that goes. What did you end up getting? Just some snacks and drinks for later. Nothing too exciting. All right, cool. Well, I'm glad you made it back safely. Thanks, me too. Delivering food service. Hey, have you tried the new delivering food service in our area? No, I haven't heard about it. What's special about this one? Well, it's different from the usual food delivery apps. This service partners directly with local restaurants that don't typically offer delivery. That sounds amazing. I've always wanted to try some of those restaurants, but they were too far for me to pick up the food myself. Exactly. Now you can enjoy their delicious food in the comfort of your home. The service also ensures that the food stays fresh and arrives quickly. I love supporting local businesses 
And this is a great way to do it. How do I place an order? It's simple. You just need to download their app, browse the menus of the participating restaurants, place your order, and they'll take care of the rest. I'm downloading the app right away. Thanks for letting me know about this fantastic delivering food service. You're welcome. Enjoy the culinary delights from our neighborhood's best kept secrets. Bedroom amenities. Hey, I wanted to discuss the bedroom amenities for our new vacation rental. What should we include to make it stand out? Good question. Let's start with the basics. A comfortable bed with fresh linens and extra pillows for added comfort. Agreed. How about adding some high quality toiletries in the bathroom? It's always a nice touch. Definitely. We can go for organic and eco-friendly options to appeal to conscious travelers. I was also thinking of providing a coffee maker and a selection of gourmet teas for that cozy morning vibe. Great idea. We could even leave a small welcome basket with local snacks for a taste of the area. Perfect. Oh, and what about entertainment? Should we offer a smart TV or some books and board games? Let's do both. A smart TV for streaming and some books and games for a relaxing time indoors. Our guests will love it. These thoughtful bedroom amenities will make their stay truly enjoyable. To the reception desk. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me Hello! Did you find everything you needed today? Yes, thank you! All set! Fantastic! Your total comes to $45.62 Here's my coupon too! Hope it applies to some of the items! Let's see! Great! You save $7.50 with the coupon. Your total is now $38.12. Nice one. Here's my payment. And here's mine. Thanks for reminding me about the coupon. You're welcome. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Hey, I just wanted to double check our flight details for the trip next week. Sure thing. What do you need to confirm? I want to make sure we have the right airline, flight number, and departure time. Got it. We're flying with Skywings Airlines, and the flight number is 123. The departure time is 9.30 a.m. Perfect. Thanks for confirming. And do you remember which terminal we need to go to? Yes, we'll be departing from Terminal 2. I looked it up last week. Great, that's noted. Just making sure we don't end up at the wrong terminal like last time. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of a hassle. But we're all set this time. Also, have you checked if we need to do any online check-in or if we can do it at the airport? I've already done our online check-in. I have our boarding passes saved on my phone. Awesome, you're way ahead of me. Thanks for taking care of that. No problem at all. Traveling is smoother when we're prepared. Agreed. With all this confirmed, I'm actually getting excited for the trip now. Me too. It's going to be a great getaway. Let's make sure we get to the airport in good time on the day. Definitely. Looking forward to it. Repairing cars.
Hey, have you ever had your car repaired at this shop before? Yeah, a few times actually. They always do a good job. That's good to hear. I need to get my brakes fixed and I was looking for a reliable place. Oh, they definitely know what they're doing when it comes to brakes. I had mine fixed here a while back and they haven't given me any trouble since. That's reassuring. How much did it cost you? It wasn't too bad. Actually, I think it was around $500 for parts and labor. All right, that's not too bad. Do you think I should ask for an estimate before they start the repairs? Yeah, definitely. Eh? That way you know what you're getting into, and you can compare it to other shops if you need to. Good idea. I'll make sure to ask for an estimate before they start working on my car. Later, after the repairs have been made. Thanks for the recommendation. My brakes feel so much better now. No problem. Glad I could help. Did they give you a warranty on the work they did? Yeah, they gave me a six-month warranty on the parts and labor. That's great. Hopefully you won't need it, but it's good to have just in case. Definitely. Thanks again for your help. Miss Delivery Hey, did you receive a package today? I think there might have been a misdelivery. No, I didn't receive any package. What's going on? Well, I was expecting a delivery, but when I checked the tracking, it shows that it was delivered to my address, but I haven't received anything. That's strange. Maybe there was a mix-up. Have you tried contacting the delivery company? Yes, I called them and they said they would look into it. They're going to check with the driver and see what happened. Hopefully, they can figure it out and locate your package. It's frustrating when something like this happens. I agree. I was really looking forward to receiving that package. I hope they can resolve it quickly. I'm sure they'll do their best to track it down and make things right. Just keep in touch with them and let them know if there are any updates or changes. Definitely, I'll stay on top of it. Thanks for your support. I hope this missed delivery gets resolved soon. You're welcome. I hope so too. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need any help. Guest Amenities Good morning. I heard we have some new guests arriving today. Have we prepared all the guest amenities? Yes, everything is set. Each room is stocked with fresh towels, toiletries, and a hairdryer. Excellent. Did we remember to include the complimentary tea and coffee? Of course. We've placed a selection of teas and coffees, along with a kettle, in each room. What about the minibar? Did we restock it with snacks and beverages? Yes, the minibars are fully stocked, with a variety of snacks, soft drinks, and some local treats for a personalized touch. Perfect! Our guests will surely appreciate the attention to detail. Oh, and did we arrange for any additional services, like spa reservations or tour bookings? Absolutely. We've made spa reservations for some guests, and we have local tour options available for those interested. Great job! Providing these thoughtful guest amenities will make their stay memorable. Damn, what a hell of a view. I feel good, you look great. I like you, I can't wait. A first time, a first day. You're so fine, I'm so late. You sit 
Thank you for joining us today on Better English Listening. Don't forget to subscribe to Better English Listening by clicking that subscribe button below. And if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button. If you have any questions, suggestions, or specific topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please share them in the comment section below. Until next time, keep studying, keep speaking, and keep shining in the world of English. See you in the next lesson.